spreadsheet is. And we're going to look at how to use a new app in G Suite called Google Sheets. Now, Google Sheets is what you can see on my screen. You can see it's different from Google Docs. It has lines. And these lines form grids, boxes, boxes in which you can type. So when you're using Google Sheets, you type inside these boxes. If you click on the box, you get a blue frame around it, and you can type. For example, I just typed 45. Now, these boxes in which you type have a special name. They're called cells. So when you're using Google Sheets to create a spreadsheet, you type in cells. Now, you can see the window of Google Sheets look like your math book. That automatically shows you that we use Google Sheets to organize numbers and words the way we do in our maths exercise books. So Google Sheets is used for performing calculations, mathematical calculations. What we're going to look at today is how to type inside these cells and how to perform simple calculations. But before we do that, we're going to look at a few parts of Google Sheets. Now, up here is where you type the title of your new spreadsheet. Now, when you create something in a Google Sheet, you call it a spreadsheet. When you create something on Google Docs, you call it a document. So here we will give our title of our spreadsheets. I can call it... Uh, grade five green. So that's what I'll call it. Now, what am I going to do on this spreadsheet? I'm going to write, I'm going to write the number, uh, the students in class and those, the number, the number of pets students have. So I could say in my spreadsheet, I will write here students. And here I'll write pets. So this allows me to put in data about the students in the class and their pets. The same way I can highlight and I can make bold. So I go to this and now go to these grids, these boxes, and I start typing. For example, let's say uh, I'm just going to use random names. So let's say Jana. Jana has two pets. Then I go down and I type um, Mariam. Mariam has five pets. You press enter, you click the cell, and I'll type Fatma. And Fatma has six pets. Then my last student is Sarah. And Sarah has 10 pets. So what I have done, I have organized my data. This is called data or records. I've created records. My records show the number of pets each student has. Now, when I organize my data, I can create what we call a data table. Now, a table has lines that shows rows and columns. Now, if you're using Google Docs, then you'd insert a table. But here, you don't do that. It's very easy. To create a table, you just go and highlight your work, all of it like that. And when it's highlighted, you go and click Borders. If you click it, you get the different type of borders. You put all borders, and that is a table. So I've created a table that shows the number of pets each student has. The other thing we're going to look at today is how to perform calculations, how to add, how to subtract, how to multiply. 
To do that in spreadsheets, you use a formula. You do not calculate in with the paper and pencil and write the answer. So for example, if I added another column that shows, uh, let's say those are the pets. So let's decide these are going to be cats. And here we're going to have dogs. So we are looking at different types of pets with the students. So if I, if I say uh, Jana has one dog and Mariam has two dogs, Fatma has four dogs, and Sarah has three dogs. So I'm going to extend my table by drawing the borders I put there, and I go and I pick borders all borders. So this is my table now. Now suppose I want to find the number of pets, total number of pets that each student has. So total pets. Now if you were asked to do some math and find the total number of pets each student has, you're not going to start calculating using a pen and paper or using a calculator. All you do is you put your information on a spreadsheet like this, create a data table. I say the grid data table has lines that separate the rows from the columns. Put your labels, the names of whatever you are putting on your table. My labels are cats, dogs, and total pets and students. I can make this bold as well so that they can be seen clearly. So here I have my labels, names of students, and here I have my pets. Now, if you were asked to calculate the number of pets Jana has, what you have to do is click where you want your answer like that. Then you use what we call a formula. A formula is a statement or a phrase that the computer will understand if the computer looks at it and knows what you're telling it to do. For example, I'm going to tell it to add 2 plus 1. I don't type 2 plus 1. I go and click the box and the formula starts with an equal sign. So I type equals and then I click the box that has number two, and you'll realize it types for me B1. Now, I didn't tell you that these cells have special names. They have special names called self-references. So this cell here is called B3. So when I click on it, the computer knows I want to add what is in cell B3 to what is in cell C3. So I click and then I put plus because I'm now going to add plus. And when I click plus, I am going to click this cell here, cell C3. Now I'll just try and make this big so that you see, I'm going to try and make my page a bit big so that you see. Now, when you do that, when you click that, so let me just make my page a bit bigger so that you can my work a bit larger. Okay, so there we go. So let's start again. So I was saying if I want to add two plus one, I do not type 2 plus 1. I have to use a formula. Now, how do I use the formula? I first click where I want the answer, and then I type. A formula in Excel has a certain structure, format. It starts with an equal sign, so I type equals. Then I click the number I want to add, which is number 2. And the number 2 is in a box that is called B3, so I click B3, then I do plus, 
And then I click the next one. Dogs is one dog, it is in cell C3. So what the computer is doing, it knows it has to add what is in cell B3 here to what is in cell C3. Now, once I do that, if I press enter, it gives me an answer. Can you see that? It gave me the answer three. Two plus one is three. I will do that again with the next one. I want to add 5 plus 2. I click where I want my answer. I start with equal sign, type equal, then click where there's number 5. And which cell is that? That is cell B, B4. You read the column and the row. It's row 4, and it is column B. So B, you start with the alphabet, B4. So if I click, it knows it is cell B4. Then I click my plus sign. I type my plus sign. And then I click this next one. If I press enter, it gives me the answer. Now, I do the same for addition, subtraction, and division. The difference is that when I am multiplying, when I'm adding, this is the sign for adding, the plus sign. When I'm multiplying, when I'm multiplying, the sign for multiplication is not on the keyboard. So you use the asterisk, so the star. So if I want to multiply, then I will use the star. The star is multiplication. If I am dividing, I use the slash. The slash means division because we don't have divide on your keyboard. Minus is just the dash. So that is how we are going to use our Google Sheets today. So the task for today, there are two tasks. The first task is a game. We have this game called the gold mine. Now, you have two numbers. Level one is for addition, and there are two numbers that you're meant to add. Now, you're meant to follow the example I just told you. Click where you want the answer. Now, we're going to add 19 plus 75. We do not type 19 plus 75. We type a formula, and we said the formula starts with an equal sign. So, I type equals, and then I Click the first one here, 19, and it knows which box it is in. Then I do plus because addition is plus, And then I click 75. So my work here says B7 plus C7. If I press enter, it gives me an answer, which is 94. Now, every time you get an answer correct, you get a gold here. So you're going to do level one. It's all addition. Remember, you're using the formula. You're not calculating. When you finish level one, go to level two. Down here, you can see the levels. In level two, you need to add and subtract. It tells you where you subtract and where you add. When you're finished, go to level three, and level three, it tells you whether you should add, whether you should subtract, or whether you should divide. Remember, I said the slash means divide, and the star means multiply. The only thing that changes is the sign. So the formula starts with equals, then you click the first number, then you type your operation or your sign, whether it's a plus, a minus, a divide, or a multiply, then you click the next number and you press enter. When you finish this task, the last task is very simple. It requires you to create a data table the way I just showed you. I created a table here showing the number of pets students have in this class. This is called a data table, or we call it a spreadsheet. So your task is to go look at this table, 
create a table like this one here. When you've created it, you need to calculate using a formula the numbers in red. Remember, here now we have how many numbers? One, two, three. So you will do equals, click 23, plus, then click that, plus, then click five. So it's the normal way you do your mathematical, uh, mathematical calculations, but here we use self reference. Now, girls, because you are at home, you might not be able to get help from me, but I want you to type questions on Google Classroom so that if you need help, I will try and answer your questions. If I am able to, to organize for a meet with you, I can organize a meet with you and I can explain. Otherwise, I cannot explain everything very clearly on a video like this. So try the two activities. If you get problems, please send a message on Google Classroom and I will see if I can.